Oh, you see, he almost got it. He almost got it. Come on, double up. Oh, got him, got him. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Why you gotta one-up me, man? <laughs> Hey there folks, welcome back to Cambo Chop Fishing. So you've seen the yellow perch videos, the snakehead, well now the white perch are making their spring run, so we're heading to the eastern shore. Which has been a recurring theme if you've been watching recently. Not too long ago we were slaying these yellow perch out there, buddies Jamie and Jared, who I'm with here again today. And on another point, I'm using the same rig I used in that video, which is covered in my favorite yellow perch rig video, so you can check that one out as well for how to tie this rig that I'm using. Now today for bait, we're using small jig heads, about 1 32nd ounce, with some soft plastic on them, tipped with grass trim. But I'll get into more of the specifics for how we're rigging it once we get to the video. So with that said, let's get to the action, and don't forget, if you like what you see, please like, share, and subscribe. Let's get to it. There's a perchy. That's a nice perchy. Look at it. Look at him fight. Yeah, that's keeper size perch right there. That's keeper size perch right. Oh. You catch him on the inside on the edge? Yeah, right over here. There you go. <laughs> there he goes. <laughs> I don't know, dude. I just threw mine in the bottom of the boat. <laughs> There's fish to be caught. <laughs> I'm floating, you all fancy. You learned your lesson now. <laughs> Now, if you've seen my favorite yellow perch rig video, you know that at the end of that video of an epic day of yellow perch fishing, we lost Jamie's basket because it came untied. Well, this new fishing basket floats, so it's a valuable lesson learned. Yeah, I put a float on. That grass is just covering my bottom hook. i tell you what I like, though. These hits over here have not been subtle. <laughs> they, they let you know they're there. Help, oh, help. Oh. <laughs> oh, it's that time. About to be a kid in a candy store. Yeah, there you go. Let's play. Oh, there he is. <laughs> I'm gonna be giggling the whole time now. <laughs> I'll let you go though. You ain't quite making the cut. You're lucky. Those sea grass strip we just cannot resist, man. When I'm doing perch fishing, I love using an ultralight because there are a lot of fun and a lot of fight on an ultralight. This is about a five and a half foot ultralight action rod paired with four pound pea line. That's a nice perch. That's a nice perch. Oh, a rock fish. It, oh, it is a, that is a rock. Grass run. Oftentimes, you'll find rock fish in the mix because they often run the same time that white perch do. Good too. Oh, it's a stick. It's a stick. Nice. <laughs> Little stick. Hold it up for the camera. Woo! I told you it was good. <laughs> Yep. Feels a little better. Not a lot better, but a little better. Yeah, that's keeper. That's keeper. Yeah, they're right over there. Now we were finding these fish out here, generally speaking, on flats or around the drop-offs of these flats that were in about three, four, maybe six feet of water. But you can see here as well, what I'm working on is threading on these grass shrimp, because it's actually very important how you hook them on there. They're very fragile baits. The best way I found to hook them is to go through the head, down through the body, as if you're threading a worm onto a hook. That seemed to hold them better than anything else I tried. I know I shouldn't have gloves on right now, but my poor little handsies are cold. That's a nice one. That's a nice perch. Now I titled this video, White Perch Spring Run. But in case you're not familiar with what a spring run is, that's when the adults of a species, like white perch, return upstream to the tributaries that they were born in to again repeat the cycle of reproduction. Similar, but not exactly the same as how salmon would do it. Now the progression of spring runs that you'll see in Maryland usually begin with yellow perch in the late January to February timeframe. As the water warms a bit more, they're followed by the pickerel, white perch, shad, and rockfish. If you can time things right in these tributary rivers, you can have some absolutely phenomenal days. All right. <laughs> you man, you're killing me, bro. 
Uh, all right, that's it. <laughs> not bad. It's not a Jamie perch, but it ain't bad. What you got there, buddy? Don't be a bass. Anything but a bass. Or a catfish. Anything but a bass or a catfish. Oh my god. Oh, look at that perch. Is that a cat? Is that a giant perch? It's a rock. <laughs> now, I tried a variety of soft plastics on these jig heads that we were tipping with the grass shrimp. The best luck came on a split tail grub. I tried some very small one inch gulp minnow, but the best results definitely came on a nice small split tail grub. Big old perch. There you go. Come on, boys. Let's go. Hey, I'm retired, man. Give me a break. Now I got to think of another excuse, though, for when I'm retired and not catching. <laughs> I hooked my pants. Does that count? Oh, yeah. All right, now, Jamie. Wind got me all over this side. Jared, I hope you're filming because you're all in the way, man. <laughs> Look at that. Look at that double full of big old whiteies. Get up here. Yeah. Ooh, got you that time. Got you that time. That's pretty good one. Ain't doing bad there. I'm going to toss this to you in a minute, Jared. There you are. Ooh, that's a nice one. That's a nice one. Stay hooked. Now, when presenting this tandem rig, this top-bottom type rig, we were jigging it just to keep it off the bottom. White perch will be a fish that's on the bottom, not at the surface. So you want to keep it close enough to the bottom to be in the strike zone without getting hung up on all the grass and structure. Yeah. Uh, you know what? I wonder if they have grass shrimp, dude. It's like, I've, I've been out there before on the water around people who have grass shrimp when I didn't have grass shrimp. And man, that is a bad time. Well, like I said, the grass shrimp are vitally important today for us tipping our jigs. But other popular things to tip it with include tips of blood worms, very small minnows, all those other things can work effectively. In my experience, grass strip tends to be best. Oh, that's good. Uh, it's because it's a striper, dude. <laughs> you won't leave a striper alone. Oh, oh, I had one. Oh, it, is a good one. it is a nice one, dude. Yeah. I don't like it when I don't get any hits. <laughs> gotcha. Gotcha, gotcha. That'll do. Solid, yep. There you are. Right at the boat. <laughs> There's a yellow. That's a fall fish. Jared, leave it to you <laughs> to catch a fall fish. <laughs> Found a cooler. You'd be catfish bait. Yep. Whoa. You good? Right. <laughs> I thought you were going in, dude. Gotcha. Fat old little tummy. Ooh, GoPro, start recording. Oh, nice perch, too. Oh, baby, I love it. Now, another big factor in our success today that we noticed was a lack of boats. And what I mean by that is that whenever the boats weren't going by, we were catching. But the river was crowded today, which is, again, why I don't share small waters like this. But whenever those boats came by, they would put the fish down for several minutes, 10, 15 minutes or more. It was really important not to have too much traffic out there. Get it, Chaser. Come on. I saw you chasing it. That's a nice one. Oh, you see, he almost got it. He almost got it. Come on, double up. Come on, get it. Oh, I might have got it. I think I... Oh, no. Come on. I'm going to lose this fish trying to get in the double up. <laughs> oh, got him. Got him. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh, that makes my day right there. That makes my day what you got there jamie what, why you gotta one up me man <laughs> right <laughs> in the mouth look at this that's the stick of the day right there <laughs> Well, folks, that pretty much wrapped up the day. Now, while we had a really good day out here, you can actually have much better days where you catch three or four or five times the fish we caught out here. We caught a lot, but between the boat traffic and us not being in quite the right position, we actually could have done a lot better than we did. We ended up hearing reports that the white perch had actually moved farther upstream than we were at. 
So it's all about timing when it comes to the perch runs, be it yellow perch, white perch. It's all about finding the right time, finding those fish, and where they are in that spawning process. Now we covered a lot of other ground here between the gear and the techniques. If there's anything that I missed that you want me to expound on, just let me know in the comments section. So, hope you liked the video, folks. Got much more to come. May even have a catch and cook coming your way with the fillets from all these white birds here. So keep an eye out for that as well. Please like, share, and subscribe, and y'all have a good one.